Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming a Primark haul. I was actually quite disappointed when I first went into Primark and saw that they didn't really have many new things in there. So I did give it a few weeks before I actually bought everything. Hence why this haul is solely on post lockdown. But this is my first post lockdown Primark shop. I did get quite a lot of things. Clothing items I have only got a few and Primark have really upped their game but they've also upped the prices as well. The first thing I want to show you actually before I get started with the video um, because it's in the other room and I know I'm going to forget so let me just go and grab it. Okay I've got it. I'm just going to jump straight into this haul without rambling on because it kind of pees me off as well it's 25 degrees outside and I am boiling and I have about six other videos to film so. I have got two big bags but before I go any further I'm going to show you the star of the show. I'll show you the first thing that I got. I'm obsessed with blazers at the minute. I think everyone's obsessed with blazers at the minute and when I saw this blazer I didn't actually buy it and I actually went back because I couldn't stop thinking about it and then I tried it on. This is the blazer. I'm sorry. She is beautiful. It's got like pinstripes down the side. Oh my god. I've kept the tag on. I actually wore this the other day and it's got like tan all over it. But anyway, besides the point, this is the blazer that I got. Um, it is oversized, so I did pick it up in a six. Usually I would get it in an eight or a ten, but it's it's already pretty oversized. This was £20. Can we just take a minute? £20. I feel like it looks like it should be about £50. That might be an exaggeration. I actually wore this um closed i wore it with some leather pants because it was quite chilly it looked really nice as a top i feel like i'm gonna get so much wear out of this i feel like blazers they can be reworn i don't care that one is quite a staple blazer but i'm not bothered it is so beautiful i love the brown the brown is so nice the next thing that i've got which um i've used every single day so it's a little bit battered is this ruched detailing handbag i'm sorry Primark who they've got it in black as well but I wasn't really a fan of that I did actually see the bag on TikTok and then I went into <laughs> Primark and didn't actually have it and then I went in a few days later and she was there um so I had to get her I think this bag was about seven pound which what the hell seven pound I just love this rouge detail in here it is quite a large bag as well it does fit quite a lot of stuff in I literally use this bag every single day because I'm moving on to some other clothing items I have never had jeans from Primark before um but with like working in office and stuff like that, I just wanted some plain black skinny jeans. Um, and one of my work friends, Katie, shout out if you're watching this, you're probably not because you never watch my videos. But um, I got some black skinny jeans off her recommendation because she wears them. Um, and they look really, really nice. And oh my god, I didn't know that Primark did leg and waist. I thought it was just like size 6, size 8 and so on. But they actually do a leg 28, which is which is me i am a dwarf so i picked these up in a size 10 because as well i heard that they do shrink when you put them in the wash so i thought i don't want them to be a struggle to get on plus jeans i already hate jeans so don't make the situation worse do you know what i mean i'd rather size up so i picked them up they're literally that short that they fit on the camera and they, they fit me perfectly i'm not gonna lie these were 10 pounds £10. I mean, I used to get the um, Topshop Joni jeans, which were um, like £40. They're like £40, £30 I'm lying. £10. I actually can't believe it. And they fit really, really nicely as well. They're really, really high-waisted. I probably wouldn't get them in any other colour because I'm more of like a wide jean girl. I don't really wear skinny jeans anymore. I don't know why. I've just completely gone off the thought of a skinny jean. Next other item that I got was actually some wide leg shorts. They are um, like leather feel. I don't think they're, they're obviously not real leather um, considering there was only £10. But I picked these up. I haven't tried them on yet but I'm sure they'll be absolutely fine. These were in like the office work section. Um, everything that I've got by the way is from the uh, Primark in Manchester City Centre. They were in like the work section so if you like them. But I thought they'd look really nice with like a white crop top or a white body um, and you could wear them going out or you could even wear them like casual vibes I feel like very versatile the next thing that i got this is quite random um i don't really know why i picked this up i think it would be nice for work to be honest it's just this brown ribbed top it's like this stretchy really stretchy material and this was only six pound which is a bargain i think this would look nice with the skinny jeans and some little flat dolly shoes i also got this white um sports bra but i didn't look at it like a sports bra i looked at it like a top the quality is really good it's really thick the tag is off because i have worn it i think it was about six pound uh, but i actually wore it as a top with some leather pants um on a night out the other day and no one even batted an eyelid that it was a sports bra so again a very versatile piece and for only six pound 
I wish they did other colours. Next, I just picked up some um, underwear, so I'm not going to go into much detail, but I picked up some bras. Um, I got a nude one, a white one, and a black one. I also did get some socks, which I think um, someone has been using, which there's only one culprit in the house that's been wearing those socks, and it ain't me. So Charlie, if you're watching this, you owe me two pound bloody fifty, love. I also got some bed socks. Um, these came with like some nice, cute little blue ones. I'm just trying to see if they're in my drawer, but I can't see them. And then these lemon ones as well. I kept these ones in to show you because I really love lemon. I think it's such a beautiful colour. I also picked up these slippers, which um, I love them that much. And Charlie also loves them that much that um, mine are now worn out. So I actually went to Primark with him and bought him some. Um, a large is a size 7 to 8, he's actually a size 10, so his toes are literally going to be over the edge, but I don't really think he's that bothered. These were only £6 in memory foam, they do have them in other colours, they've got them in black um, and like a purpley colour, but I don't really like them that much, so I picked them up in white. They're really, really fluffy and soft, they're so comfortable, but the only thing I'll say, oh my hand hair actually, so I've literally probably worn mine every day for like two weeks, I think I've had them, and this is what they look like. <laughs> That is probably Charlie's toe print, I'm not going to lie. The fluff is like all gone here. They've got stains on them. They are still pretty memory for me, but they are only six quid, so I feel like you can't really complain. Now, these are probably the second favourite thing that I got after the blazer and the bag. Third favourite thing that I got. And they've actually brought out more colours now, but not in the Manchester Primark. I can't find them anywhere, but I see them all over TikTok. But it's these little awards underwear sets so i got the lemon one of course i'm obsessed with that color and then i also got the nude one um i've already got this in white black red um i think that's it these are literally so comfortable i like to sleep in these these are so comfortable and they're only five pound a set again some socks that are literally non-existent i also got a three pack of knickers these are like really cute pastel colors it was six pound for a pack of three they are thongs let me take one off and then I can show you. They're all stuck together, but you get the gist. I also picked up some of the famous um, lace ones. Pack of three for three pounds. You can't really complain. I actually completely forgot about this, but um, I bought a black hoodie, which I think is in the wash, uh, which is just for the gym or like just for chilling in. And then I also bought it in grey because they're literally like five pound thing. Where's the tag? Seven pound for a hoodie. I picked up some hair clips because these come in really, really handy. I like to have my fringe bag, especially if it's hot outside or when I'm doing my makeup or when I'm doing my hair, sort of like in layers, is that the word? I like to clip my hair up so then it's like out of my way, but these do snap really easily. I get a pack of eight for one pound. The next thing that I got was a handbag tidy. I did have one of these and I've just lost it, I think. I don't really know where it is. Um, so I thought I'd pick up another one. So this just slots like into your handbag. Obviously it's gotta be a pretty big, handbag not a big handbag but you know what i mean it's got to have like a hollow yeah you know what i mean it just slots in there it's got like a big let me just show you that it's got like a big section here um and then like little pockets around so it's just really good for organizing your handbag because my handbag is disgustingly messy there's just like hairs everywhere that have come out my hairbrush and pens and coins and just chewing gum not used chewing gum but like chewing gum that's fell out of the packet. I picked up two lots of um, cosmetic pads. These are 50p each and you get 120 pads in there. I did actually buy these from Wilco a couple of days ago because I completely forgot about these because this bag's been sat here for like two weeks waiting for me to film it. I actually prefer these ones because they're like large square ones. You get 100 pads, I think they were like a pound. So the Primark ones are better value for money because I've got 240 pads there for a pound. These ones are just so much better and you only need to use one of them because it's like so big. The Primark ones, I literally go through them like, I can't think of a comparison, but I go through them very quick. I also got some wipes um, just because I think these come in handy. Like when I come on from a night out, I literally cannot stand the thought of taking my makeup off with a wipe, but sometimes it has to happen. Sometimes I am too drunk to take my makeup off, and if I'm not with Charlie, then it's gonna it's gonna be a wipe. I mean, the makeup always comes off, so sometimes a wipe steps in and, and does that. And then finally, I just picked up, well, not finally, I've got two more things to show you. I picked up two things for my car, um, a car holder for when I do come drive with me, and then I just bought a little charger. I did have one of these, previously and it actually lasted me quite a while before it broke it is only £3.50 so I'm not really um complaining and this was only £2 this just slots into an air vent and holds your phone it's not very sturdy for come drive with me so it's better than nothing got a face mask and then lastly I picked up a Carmex because I um when I was younger I used to get really 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 
really bad chat lips to the point it would literally be all the way up my, my face so now i feel like i've got ptsd from that and i need my lips to be moisture at all times so i will always have a carmex or like a nivea balm or vaseline in my bag so yeah that is everything that I got from Primark. Um, I did also buy my friend Lucy some pyjamas for her birthday. I think that is everything that I've got to show you. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.